Hello YouTube, I Fix It All here, Team I Fix It All. Uh, today's mission is to um, go through a bunch of uh, Ford TFI EEC4 ignition system tests. It's a Ford distributor here that I had spare back, but I've got one that I'm using as a uh, as a uh, template already tore apart here um, these will be like 351 Windsor or 302 this is a Windsor distributor which happens to not have an ignition module put in and this is a 302 the shafts on the end are much thicker not too much difference in them at all. Somewhat interchangeable. But my mission here is to verify one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ignition modules and one two three four five six seven eight pickup modules and how i'm going to be doing that today is i'm going to be bench testing a distributor because in the four uh, distributor systems you don't need the computer to verify that the uh, system is functional. All you need to do is have a 12 volt power source, which you could use a car battery. I'm using this uh, Coleman um, 12 volt power supply, which does about 14 and a half volts with no load. It's 120 volt AC and then DC out. So that'll be my simulated battery. This is for a, uh, a blow-up mattress, yeah. But I kept it around because it does um, uh, 12 volt DC, 5 and a quarter amps out. And before we get started, I'll give you some shop manual tidbits if you're having trouble. I've got a lot of shop manuals. But what I'll do is I'll bring the camera over to here and I will give you the opportunity to pause the video, use your phone to take a picture of whatever you need to. Let's just um, get the name of this book first of all. There you go. and this is going to be in 2041 let's give you some information here this is called your uh, TFI worksheet diagnostic and troubleshooting We'll do that one more time. Give it a different angle here. Let's see if I can turn on a light and make it a little better, maybe, if it helps. Again, this is for your troubleshooting purposes. We're over here looking at the uh, connector of a ignition module and whoops hang on I lost my cover there got 
got some gook on it. And Ford doesn't really too often give us the opportunity to piece together any clues on how they counted this connector uh, right here. However, they made a statement and I underlined it on check number eight. And it's telling us on check number eight Check the TFI module to distributor ground at pin 6. Desired ohm is 0 ohms. And then you fill in your actual. So this is where I have come up with a theory that the top pin, pip out, um, is pin 1. And then spout is pin 2, and then 3, 4, 5, and 6. And what they're trying to ask you to do there is verify that pin 6 has continuity to the metal backer plate, which means pin 6 inside here has continuity to this metal backer plate right here. That's metal, it's rubberized. Let me get a better example. So, pin 6 down there has continuity to here, the metal backer plate. So, that's what they're trying to say there. Alright. And I'm going to be bench testing and verifying all my parts. Doing um, my tests that I've sketched up. I'm going to scan this slowly for you too so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to move the camera once more. And see if I can find something to point with. Let's see if killing that light helps. This represents the uh, ignition module right here. And I'm counting these terminations as D1, D2, and D3. And then I'm calling these terminations H1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? I've titled this as PIP and TFI Bench Test, Ford Motor Company. Giving you a basic uh, little illustration here. Uh, ignore that 987 up there. Let's just call that D1, D2, D3 to match this down here. I have a spare connector plugs into the TFI module right here that gives us our wires that'll plug in right here and then I have a coil sitting right here and then I've got a battery here and what I'm trying to say here is don't do anything with the pip wire or the spout wire uh, don't do anything with those two conductors. That'll be oriented like this. So the pip is going to be blue. The spout is yellow. Light green. Just spare them back like I have on this connector. On the rest of the wires, let's just uh, keep going through. I'm trying to stay zoomed in for you. Two 
take your red and gray and your red green and tie it together and bring one wire over to your battery positive and then take another conductor and off of those same two pin three and four and bring it to your uh, red light green of your coil Then pin five, gray, yellow, bring it over to your green, yellow, oh, I'm sorry, green, yellow on your ignition module, bring it to the green, yellow of the coil. And then your uh, black, brown of your ignition module which is a ground bring it over to the negative side of your battery and then you just put a spark tester between the negative of the battery to the coil spark plug post looks complicated I know but I will zoom in on this because this works just fine follow your color code and your wiring on your spare connector. There's other things written on here too, like there's a YouTuber who's called uh, Cars, Trucks, and Detours. He's provided a resistance check type test, which tells us that if you go from D2 to D3, you should have 150 ohms. So that's D2 to D3 is 150, D2 to H4, so he's saying D2 to H4, you get a certain resistance reading. If you go from D1 to D3, you should have um, 500 ohms, D1 to D3, that'd be from here to here. Uh, D1 to H6 uh, should be less than 5 ohms. So that's D1 to H6. And of course, I know that happens to be a ground and that happens to be a ground. So that's what they're trying to achieve there. And then here's a more detailed resistance test. This is test number 2. Uh, this is per shop manuals that I have and the ranger station and many other stores sources and the metal backer plate of the ignition module we're going to refer to that as the base but here are the resistance values you should be looking for when you uh, jump around this thing right through here there's a d1 test d2 d3 and um, then you've got some various D1s to D2s to base over here. And you're checking D1 to H1 through 6, D2 to H1 through 6, D3, H1 to H6, and then the hodgepodge mix. All right, hang tight. Okay, I'm back again. I've decided I'm going to um, give another moment on this etch and sketch here so that you guys can draft up your own bench test and break these videos up into chunks because there's just so much to talk about here again I'm scanning this one more time for you I'll come in real close now see if we can avoid a shadow let's call that D1 D2 D3 up here and this is my hookup for bench testing
This is the resistance check by another YouTuber. And this is a resistance check from the shop manuals and the ranger station. Hope I don't forget talking about this. This is very, very important right here. This is a pickup module, or yeah, the PIP. Profile input pulse. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop the video here and start anew.